Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here back from Pokemon World and guess what we have? Yeah! Boom! We have bags of stuff from the Pokemon World store and we are here doing an unboxing, unpacking video. So, like we said before, we are going to be unboxing and unpacking all of the items that we were able to get on our World Store Tour. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's get started. I have an echo going on. Let's get started. And that's not what I said. <laughs> Start off with a non-exclusive. I just went to the store, saw this there, felt how comfortable soft it was and was like, I need a new pillow. It's a big ditto. Look at the size of this thing. Yeah. Costs about 5,000 yen, bit expensive, that's honestly. And it's at the Pokemon Center. Not an exclusive, but when you see it, it's not going to always be there. So I thought, why not get it? Really love the smile of Ditto right there. If I have my Ditto collection, which I'm starting to grow it, Ditto, Ditto collection is growing very, very slowly, but we're going to get as many Ditto plushes as we can in the future. So that's number one. Next up, we have another plush. It is the Quaxley with T plush. One of the rare plushes in this store. This, along with this one right here, Fue Coco on the Onigiri, holding two of them very cute that one in itself is probably my favorite of the three and when i say three there's also this one right here sprigatito with a dongle a lovely lovely plush and you got the cherim right there beautiful plushes costs 2600 yen a piece a little expensive but it's okay fourth one is pikachu eating ramen with his chopsticks you can see right here a very very lovely plush as well. So this is from Pokemon Worlds obviously so this is going to be one of those rare ones that you're going to want to keep as a collectible. So we got this one as well. Also 2600. Final plush we got is this Lapras Pikachu plush. Very very beautiful. Large. Cost 5,500 yen. Created because it, the worlds took place in Yokohama. This design of a Pikachu right here as you can see with the hat symbolizes what the Yokohama Pokemon Center Pikachu looks like. At least at the very beginning when they open up the shop. Pretty valuable plush. Only got one next up we got duplicate we got lots of duplicate we got these because they're collectibles also we got these for our friends out there so yeah we went shopping for not just ourselves and the final plush is a regular pokemon fit porygon um not special not rare not exclusive but my friend is a fan of porygon his favorite pokemon in gen 1 so i decided to get it because i couldn't find it in any pokemon centers in the last like year so I finally got this and so this is for him. Now we get into the good stuff. This here, it's a Yokohama Japan 2023 play mat. This is what it looks like. Look at that beauty. One of a kind, one of a kind play mat right here. You definitely have to get it if you're going to the store. So I grabbed it, of course. There was a couple others I could have grabbed too. I didn't, I sort of feel like I should have. But I did get this one. Also a cool thing about the playmat is the detail in the bag that they provide. It's beautiful. It has obviously the three mascots, actually four mascots of the world doing their, you know, cool little thing. We have here a wind chime. Right now we have a Yokohama Pikachu wind chime. It makes a beautiful sound in the wind. So you guys can hear the wind chime going right now. The Yokohama Pikachu wind chime right here. You see the cute hat? Zizi really loved this, so I bought it for her as a gift. I don't know where we're going to put it up, but there was a bunch of them in the store, so I bought it. So let's open this one. It's Pikachu figure. So next we have a Pikachu figure. Honestly, it looks really cool. His ramen is on his head. Instead of eating the ramen, it's definitely on his head. The cool thing about these is there was four figures, Sprigatito, Fue Coco, and Quaxley, along with the Pikachu, but they only had Pikachu available in the store. So we could only get Pikachu instead of all the other options, but it's still very, very cool. And we're happy to have it. This is the ramen Pikachu. He's holding his ramen, ramen, Japanese says ramen, on his head. Of course, he's very ready for his ramen because a red chopstick is on his left side and the bottom they say it's world 2023 um i think it's made by very traditional japanese way to to paint the color on it so mm. it's quite fragile on the tail when i touch it i feel like it's gonna to 
drop soon, so I think it needs to be well protected. Very cute, very colorful. While she's packing up that away, we have ourselves another Pikachu figure. Yeah, they let you get one per person. So I grabbed one and ZZ grabbed one. So we actually have two figures, but one's for a friend. So we're going to put this in the back right here. And speaking of friends, I did get another ramen Pikachu because we have a lot of friends. Next up, we have the Switch case. Beautiful Switch case with yet again the Yokohama emblem on it. Let's show them the details. There it is right there. It is unboxed. It is beautiful. Actually, the colors are absolutely amazing. And they sort of match a Animal Crossing color scheme. If you have that colored switch, it works perfectly. Put your switch inside. Blah. Good to go. As she packs that away, let's grab the next item. So the next thing we have here is this deck box. Yet again, the Yokohama visuals on it. All three Pokemon. It's one of a kind and not going to be available elsewhere. So, of course, I had to get one. I just got one. 500 yen. Not expensive. Really cool just to have something like this in your house. While she's still packing it up, I do have the next item. The next item we have is a keychain, a Fue Coco keychain. Right there, the Fue Coco keychain. It is a different type of keychain than the ones that you've probably seen in other videos. They do have the keychain where it's the 3D image. This is sort of a flat image. Uh, this is the only options that we could find. And Fue Coco being our favorite with the Onigiri, we had to get. So we got one. We didn't get any of the other ones. So this is our keychain. Next up, it's card sleeves. We have a whole lot of card sleeves. We have two of these. They look like this. Uh, similar to the deck box. Similar to everything. They look beautiful, actually. If you had your cards packed in this. I mean, this is cool. So we bought two of them. The limit was five. I should have bought five. I only bought two. And we have a magnet here. A Pikachu magnet, that is. Eating ramen. Bendable. I thought it was a hard magnet, but it looks very soft. Magnet secured. Oh, I know you guys are waiting for this. We got ourselves, since we both went in, two of the Pokemon World Championships 2023 Yokohama Pikachu deck right here. See that Pikachu card? Yeah, all the cards here are golden. And, and yeah. the Pikachu card is a beautiful card. So these are going for a lot of value online, I realized. And it comes with a tin box, sleeves, and a beautiful design on the outside. You, so definitely something that everyone wanted when I saw them at the World Championships. So of course we bought a couple of them. Dun -dun, a shirt. Well, this isn't from the World Store. This is actually from entering into Pokemon Worlds and playing Pokemon Go because there was a scavenger hunt of 12 things to do in Pokemon Go that you had to complete in order to win a t-shirt, a water bottle, a sticker, and a bracelet, I think. So we won the bracelet because we did, I think it's like three items to finish. I got the blue because I'm obviously Mystic and she's Valor. Yeah. And then... Got she shirt. got her shirt my shirt i gave it to my friend and we also got the water bottle which i think took 12 of the scavenger items which are right here beautiful little pieces of merch team mystic water bottle right here and team valor check it out we will open them up in a second 16 ounces 500 milliliters right here here's team valor look how red that is red bottle right here see looks nice has the play pokemon on the back too we got the mystic bottle right here this is the Mystic bottle right here. Beautiful. Articuno on there and Pokemon Play on the back. Next up we have Tatsuguri right here, which we got a bunch of these cards, four of them actually. And we wanted to give them away to you guys because we have four codes and we do not need them all. The Tatsuguri has a big nugget and it's the stretchy form. If you guys want a stretchy form Tatsuguri, leave the word Tatsuguri in the comments down below and we will choose four winners and we will send you the code it expires august 31st so comment down below within seven days of this video coming out now all that you've seen right now cost us fifty-seven thousand yen so about five hundred dollars but we spent almost two hundred thousand yen and here's why i wanted a skateboard as you guys all know i wanted a skateboard couldn't get a skateboard was getting into the World Center way late in the day, 3 o'clock p.m., which all the skateboards are sold out. Apparently, there's only 500 of them, and 
they don't really have them over the course of a day. They had a hundred, I think, in the first day, and anyone who got to the Poke World store early was able to grab it. And anyone after 9 a.m. couldn't get it at all. And then the second day, they do the same thing again. They bring it and restock it in the morning. And anyone who had the morning session would have a board. Well, I knew I wasn't going to be able to get a board that way. I couldn't just get in. So what I decided to do was stand outside and watch all the people who had boards early in the morning on the fourth day. So I stood out there and watched so many people walking out with boards. And some people had two, three of them. And I was wondering why. So I just asked, hey, what are you doing with all the boards? And one of them was like, hey, we're looking to resell. That's why we bought them all. Sort of a see a problem there. So Pokemon, if you see this, think about that for next year. But regardless of that, I had to play along with the game that's going on. So I decided, okay, how much would you like for it? And they bargained with me back and forth. Initially, they set a price and I said, okay, I'm fine with that price. And then they're like, ah, actually, no. And then they raised it. And then I was like, okay, I'm fine with that. And then they raised it again. Regardless, it got up to a point that it was Instead of being an original 50,000 yen that you would pay for, it was Ju which is 130,000 yen. And I was like, okay, I might pay for that. But, include, because I saw they had a whole bag of stuff. So I told them, include one item for me that I can't get in the store. I know I can't get. And I asked them, can I have that Fue Coco figure? Because it's cute and beautiful. And we can only get Pikachu. I already knew that we could only get Pikachu. So I asked, can you include that? And they said, yes. So lo and behold, we have a Fue Coco figure. Which also means one. we're going to unbox it. This was literally the only way we could get one of these is from people reselling. If you thought the Pikachu figure was cute, get a hold of what this one looks like. This is by far, I think, the best figure they ever created. And I'm so happy that I bargained to include this. The onigiri on there. And look what they protected. Check it out. Check it out. It's not like the plush. They cut up the sushi and put it on his head. It's so cool. I can't wait to put this up in our house. It's amazing. We don't want it to break, but look at it. It's beautiful. We could just walk around it. I would have paid... I mean, a uh, immense amount of money for it. So the fact that we could get this included for basically free is awesome. Yeah, we paid money for it, but it's because guess what came along with it, guys? I'm going to walk and grab it. This right here, my friends, is the Pikachu skateboard that everyone wanted and I really wanted. And it costs a lot of money. I had really no idea that there was only 500. I thought it was 500 per day. Apparently there's only 500 of these. So did I overpay? Yes. Is it going for four or five times that money that I paid online? Yes. Maybe they put a hundred out there and then sort of, you know, waited until they were gone and then said, okay, we don't have any more. And then the next day they put another hundred. Regardless, rare item, super rare. Couldn't get it. All the creators, all the content creators who got in the store early the day before it opened, they all grabbed a whole bunch of them. So they have these and I did not get in early. So hopefully next year, Pokemon company lets me in early. That'd be awesome. Just letting you guys know a year in advance. It's really an amazing board. I wish I could show you, but I don't want to just open it today. What I want to do with it, because we might be moving to a new apartment, is open it at the new apartment and set it up behind the new room that I'm gonna have for this whole YouTube setup. So you'll see it in future videos. But I just wanna let you know, I did get the skateboard and it was difficult to get, but I'm so happy I got it. Even if I paid 2.6 times the amount that it originally cost, I think it was worth it because now it's going for almost 10 times the amount. That was the big ticket item that got us to almost spending 200,000 yen. We got some free stuff too. As you saw in the world's video, if you didn't go check it out after this, but we did get this right here. This Pikachu it looks like a sailor Pikachu and it comes with a fan too. It's detective Pikachu on the fan. So two items that came for free when you walked in the activity zone. And then whenever you walked into the activity zone, you also got a bag, which is obviously 
If you're not new to this channel and you do know the Poke Liz, you might have seen some of these characters when we went on our trips because this is what most of the lids are based off of. This is Hokkaido. This yeah. is Iwate, Miyagi, Fukushima, Miyazaki, Kagawa, Totori, and Mie. These are the local acts. So those are the only prefectures that have a Pokemon symbol for them. And then we have also got this. At some of the events, they gave you this for free too, which is a mat to sit on in the grass. So they gave us like three of these. I think we have two of them, maybe one. And that was a haul that we got from Yokohama. Well, if you enjoyed, subscribe, like this video, and uh, we'll see you next time. And hopefully one time I will open that skateboard. If this video gets to 500 likes, I'll open that skateboard on a live stream. If it doesn't, you have to wait till I move to a new apartment. All right, I'm gonna leave. You guys can check out 